Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin. <laughs> it's Marion from Speak of the Star Shatter, and welcome back to my channel. You'll have to forgive me if I still use my old intro. I still haven't really thought of a new intro, so I tend to sort of like slide into my old intro out of habit, and yeah, it happens. So, this is probably either a bonus, bonus video or a video that I uploaded because maybe I've been uploading too many traditional drawings. So this is the this is me drawing the body doll thing of a character design I did quite some time ago in 2017 and it was of Serial Nere Talus. And I actually just like maybe in the iCard or at the end screen I'll link the outfit design for that. But this is me drawing the body so Fair warning, this will include semi naked bodies, like he's wearing nothing but underwear. So, if you're uncomfortable with that, I would suggest you watch this later. Maybe queue it up in your watch later playlist or something, or just come back to this. But if you're fine, you're alone maybe, or in a comfortable space where you can watch these things freely without anyone judging you, then go ahead. So, um, where did I start? If you haven't watched my old or some of my character designing videos, which is few and far in between, um, my system basically is I would draw the body first, which is this video. Um, no clothes, as I mentioned earlier. And I would start the process with that. Make sure that there's a base doll, I guess, to start with. And then I would draw the layers of clothes on, depending on how many layers of clothing this character is wearing. So with Serial, he's wearing um, a white shirt, a white like dress shirt, uh, pants and shoes on the first layer. I put, I think, a vest and I think belts and gloves on the second layer. And then on the third layer is his coat. So it changes on, it changes for each design. So with, like with Seiyan, the Fire Mage, it is like undershirt, pants, boots, and then second layer is um, his uniform and a belt, I think, and then the third layer was his cloak. So I made up the system to make it easier for me to draw more outfits for these characters, though I've, I haven't really put it to use yet, that, like, I haven't really made new outfits for these characters yet, but that was the intention in mind. I could just reuse the base, if I need to tweak it a little bit, I will. But I just need to reuse the base and draw more outfits on them. Uh, if you play Fate Grand Order... <laughs> but I did think of the system before I played Fate Grand Order, but it's somewhat similar. Where you see the character's clothes change, but their pose doesn't change. It's that kind of thing. Uh, but I thought of it first. I think. Maybe. Who knows. <laughs> so, with Saria, I think you saw a bit earlier in the video, I struggled to find a nice pose for him. Because before this, I drew, I think, Saiyan. So that was more of an active pose. But with Seri, with Serial, um, he's a bit of a more mature character. He, yeah, he's, I wanted a more static pose for him. But it's a, a little bit of attitude, you know. So if you, if you haven't watched the outfit design for Seri, uh, Serial is... In the unit in my individual place, he's a Pajidi Lancer. He came from a tropical region. Because, okay, in the universe I set him in, the, the character that we play, they're either humans, elves, dragons, or something we call shifters. Um, shifters are basically characters that have two forms one is humanoid with some animalistic features, and the second is the actual animal form. So Seri is a Philippine eagle, even though his character design doesn't really reflect that. Whatever. <laughs> I made I made Seri such a long time ago. He's such an old character by now. Um, I've had him since maybe high school. So yes. Yeah, I, I just decided to retain him like this because hey, I like the character and I like I sort of like RP'd him with this design for the longest time, so changing up his features would be pretty weird for me. Um, yes. So he's a Philippine eagle. He came from a tropical region to a place called Swan Lake. 
to train under a hero lancer, you know, to improve his skills and stuff, and he fell in love with Swan, and then, yeah, he has a family and kids now. Ooh. <laughs> so, Sari is a bit, his personality is that of a knight character, uh, so he tends to be a little bit strict. His battlefield nickname is the Ice King. Mainly because he's ice is his main magic element, but also because of his attitude. Supposedly, when he's in a battlefield, he switches from like this really nice, um, amia- amicable boy to like a really ruthless, cold soldier. So that's Sari. Uh, hmm, what else? His character design hasn't really changed much from when I drew him the very, very, very first time. I did retain. Pretty much his color scheme. So, his body, or him as a person, his color scheme is blonde, blue eyes. Well, his hair is, pur- is tipped with purple, and that was mainly because I, I did mention this in the other video. But his hair is p- tipped with purple because someone told me that um, purple is a complementary color to yellow or blonde, and I didn't really know how to implement that. And what I ended up doing. Was instead of using purple as a like a shadow color, I ended up putting purple on the tips of his hair. So it's not because he's an edgy emo kid. His creator just doesn't know how to use color. <laughs> but yeah, before I would just like stick like it would just gradient into purple. But what I would do now with this design and in the future as well is that it's like just very lightly overlaid with purple. So the premise is. When he was younger, it was like maybe solid purple. Then, as he got older, as he matured, when he reaches when he reaches a certain age, it would like fade out, and maybe it's like very lightly purple, or maybe even just turn purely blonde in the end. That was like the concept. So, yeah, he's older here now compared to how I drew them years and years back. But yes, and when I do this one. In particular, it's maybe a year. It's been a year since then. I was, I haven't really drawn just a full body in a while, so certain parts of the body were tough. Like my weakness has, has and always will be the feet. So getting the toes right took such a long time. Like, I swear I redrew his feet so many times, and it turned out pretty decent. I even had time to put nails in it. Some of my characters don't have nails, I think. With some have nails. I think well, I don't remember anymore, but some of my character designs I don't put nails out of sheer frustration and being tired of drawing the foot. So that happens. Um yeah. There's not much to talk about it, like it's just his body. The actual interesting part is the outfit design, but meh. <laughs> So this is the original color, or actually no, it used to be a lot brighter and neon than this, but I first went with this color for Sari's hair because I wanted it to be like, you know, a more colored blonde, but then I found out like, it's a bit too manufactured yellow, so I went through several cycles of blonde to find the one that would fit Sari and not deviate too much from his original design.
But I think, I think that I noticed now that it's been a while since I drew this. See, he has too much curves. <laughs> like his body should be a bit more broader, I think. Like his hip waist part is a little bit too curvy, especially for someone this muscled. So, oh well. <laughs> too late. It's been a year. I also sometimes do that. I don't know if you saw that right now, but sometimes I would hide the line art just to see how the shapes would look like without it defining the features. And that's something I've been trying to do more with my more recent drawings digitally, is that I would try to make the shapes as recognizable as possible without the line art helping. And I think that's it helps a bit more with my shadows and my highlights, it creates more definition between things. And it has, it has really helped me um, trying, to, trying to build shapes more out of just pure color. Uh, I'm recording this after I finish the Kin Urina character design. So with, if you see that one, if you see the body joint that I did for Kin, which I'll upload maybe after a serial, but if you see the way I did the body and the clothes for Kin, there was almost minimal line art to define the shapes. And that's because I've been trying to do that since here with Seri. Uh, Seri still relies a bit much on the line art, but with Kin, there was a lot less of that. And I think that's really helped me, you know, hiding the line art and doing stuff like that. So I decided to tone down a bit the blonde, the blonde color of Sari's hair, mainly because I didn't want him to, like, to be like super bright since his outfit is mainly white and blue. So I wanted to add a bit more toned down feels to it rather than like being overly bright and stuff like that. So that's why I went with this hair color. So right now I'm working on the purple tips that I did mention earlier, and before it's gonna, if I do this like when I was about younger, it's gonna be like super super purple, like the reddish type of purple that purple. It would be like a solid color. You wouldn't really see much of the blonde. It would be like a straight gradient into the blonde. So this is the best compromise I could do with myself. <laughs> from my design from back then and my design senses now, that's the best I could do, I think. So for the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please check, it, check out the actual outfit design for Sari. I'll link it here in the end card. Like and subscribe if you like art and anime and stuff like that. Um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.